Hey, good morning, guys. I uh, thought I would make a video <clears throat> here coming to you from the Old Barn Homestead on this channel and start actually making more videos here. You know, because it seems like people may be interested in just kind of the, the day in, day out, you know, what's going on. So, um, you know, uh, what we got going on today, uh, picking up from the last couple of days. Uh, yesterday, I made a trip to Dallas to... Uh, do some running around and pick up some things um went to this to metal supermarkets to get i got 10 more sheets of 16 gauge and some dom tubing and some other cold rolled uh, round bar for those bender kits um i've gotten a couple of more orders for those trickle in and i've i've used up all most of the material i had um let's put it this way i don't have enough of each everything to ship out you know the a full kit at this point so i gotta get a couple kits made up in fact i'll probably just make up 10 cut out everything in box and get 10 ready so that way when orders come in all i have to do is pop a shipping label on them and, and get them shipped but i went to rockler yesterday and picked up some stuff for uh to clean up my dust collection a little bit and then this thing i've just decided to build a mobile cart for it uh you know a dolly to sit underneath it and that way I can park it out here and then share the dust collection with this, with the flex hose. Um, and then when I'm not using it, I can push it over there or you know, probably move that over here and keep it parked in there. Uh, a couple of people said the shop's filling up. Yeah, you know, and I've got this storage trailer in here and normally I keep this over here in front of the door and I keep the gantry crane up there by it because you know, most days I'm not unload and and you know opening the door and that kind of thing so the eventual plan is to keep it outside i just haven't there's a couple things on it that i need to do that are not done yet and one is capping off the end of these tubes here so that it doesn't fill up with water um and um you know i'm debating on whether i should get plastic for it or not but so far it hasn't really been an issue keeping it in here yeah it's it is extra room you know that that that's taken up but when i keep it over here by the door the door is kind of unusable space anyway you can't put a workbench or anything up against it um it frees up a good bit of space i mean you have this entire area floor area open and and most of that area back there is open and then there's an open area right here just to lay things out or if you you know like when i make those shipping crates up to ship out the uh the flags you know i usually just use this open open area out here to build those up so it's one thing in a shop you you need your workbench space and your tools and equipment but you also just need working space you know open space that stays open so that you can spread things out you can stage things up you know i got all this steel that i've got to unload and you know um if, if everything was jammed up in here i wouldn't have a good spot to put that so i've i've actually got to go get some more steel as well i don't get my hot roll steel from metal supermarkets i get it from a different place because i can get it cheaper but they don't actually sell the dom tubing or the cold rolled so i kind of have to get it in, in two trips but there is a local place here that i can get the hot rolled stuff for a pretty good price so uh, we'll be making a run to get that here shortly as soon as we get that unloaded so i'm just going to start you know keeping the camera rolling giving you updates talking about stuff you know the good the bad the ugly and um when i get enough content to upload a video Maybe every day, maybe every couple of days, uh, I'll just keep putting them up. And, um, you know, as long as anybody's interested in seeing what's going on, I'll keep doing it. And if you guys see things, you know, in the video that you think I can improve on or do better at or, you know, learn from, don't, don't hesitate to point it out. All right, guys, see ya. All right, so we got uh, back the truck up and park the trailer here and it makes it really easy to slide everything off onto there without doing a lot of heavy lifting and uh, this cold roll stuff has got a nice film of oil on it which is good for helping it slide and good to keep it from rusting but it sucks when you get ready to clean it to uh, you know make something out of it to paint it because it you have to wipe it down with acetone like three times to get get the stuff to come off of it and here's the DOM tubing so I uh, got it staged up to get ready to start cutting it. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start making the cart for this. So what I'll do is get the pieces cut out I need for it. 
and then while I'm doing the fit up and drilling holes in it and whatever I'll start the saw running and set up a stop and start cutting out these pieces into the various lengths that they need to get cut in so you know I, I really enjoy this work um, it's just finding the right balance between doing things that make me money because like you guys I, I now you know I have to do this to make a paycheck and then but doing this I'm not making any money doing that however if I want to sell any of the kits for those table bases that I showed you guys yesterday um, you know I got to stage it up I got to get it you know get things going and uh, show what it looks like as a finished product and do all the documentation draw up the plans <clears throat> make a how-to video um, and get all that kind of pulled together and then and then you know make a promotional video for it to be able to you know get it out there and float it around on the different platforms and hopefully sell some of them so um, but that's not gonna get me paid this week you know I don't know about you guys but I need to eat and I need to have money this week to do stuff so um, and the thing about it is is when you sell I'm selling these bender kits people pay you in advance right and we've all probably been around people or shops that take money in advance and then they you know they start living off that money and getting themselves behind and then next thing you know they're using the next customer's money to buy materials to to ship out what they've already sold and that is something i definitely want to stay away from so I'm getting these things shipped out or really anything anybody orders from me uh, getting it shipped out as fast as I can some of them you know some of the time I've had it made up in advance and just ship it the same day sometimes it may take me a couple of days if I'm waiting on something but I got enough material here now to fill the I just only have two orders that are backed up and hopefully if you guys are watching these videos uh, your orders will be going out here in the next couple of days and then I'm gonna make up a bunch of these and just have them available so I don't you know so I can just ship them and keep working on whatever I'm working so next we'll be coming up with something for dust collection this is temporary you know still and i really want to do something permanent and get dust collection uh over to that saw let me show you guys this real quick by the way i really the only this saw has worked great so far the only thing i don't like about it is the dust collection on it and i don't know if this is how all of these are but see how it's not really connected to the enclosure here and you know not i mean some dust gets up in that but not a lot so i want to hook that up to dust collection or maybe the best thing to do would you know would be to drop my dust collection down just my hose four inch hose and just park it right there try to keep it you know maybe tied up or something but have it here where it's just you know on and sucking anything that comes out of it but i think it seems like most of the chop saws the the built-in dust collection is sort of incorporated into this manifold here and it's it sort of you know captures it um but maybe not i don't know all right we'll uh, keep making progress and uh get this table cleaned off right here and get the stand built for that get going cutting stuff out and uh, we'll talk to you soon All right, we saw the plasma cutter running there. I was making these um, caster mounts for the uh, dolly that I'm building. And I just sketched those up real quick. Some little nine degree L brackets. This one kind of got messed up, but um, to lower the center of gravity and you know, also just checking out building something like this out of angle iron. Normally I would do, you know, square tubing or whatever, but using a lot of this thinner plate and things like that if I have enough structure to it and so forth will it be as strong or hold up well for 600 pounds um, I think the casters I have are like for let me see I think they were 250 a piece and they'll uh, so that's thousand pounds so uh, twice the limit they got steel wheels on them Hear the bandsaw running back there, just now shut off. Uh, so cutting parts over there for the benders and then working on this thing. And uh, you can see I'm using this one, two, three block and my Reed Eichner clamps that he sent me. 
um, to uh, just get those tacked and then uh, get them welded up. So we'll finish uh, putting that frame together, put the casters on it, and see if we can get that bad boy sitting on there. All right, gonna nip out the uh, edges of these uh, guys right here so we can uh, do a coat joint. Um, I like the coat joints on, on things better than um, 45 in it or just you know overlapping the ends. I know I've shown this bandsaw before, but it's such a cool old machine, you know? This, these wheels are just massive. The, you know, the blade seems to be spinning so fast, but yet you look up here and you could, uh, you know, smoke a couple of cigarettes while things are making a turn. Let's see if I can set this down and show you this. gonna slide it up underneath there and uh, drop it down you can see I got a better rigging set up this time two straps hooked under the tables on each side all right so that worked out pretty well um, I was gonna put some little uh, standoffs on it where I could you know jack it up but I just decided not to do that and uh, just slid a couple of tubes before under it. I can use a lever, you know, lever bar and just hit it real quick and the front and back and pop those under there to get it off the caster to make it more stable to run stuff over it. So, uh, yeah, it's about 6 p.m. Um, here on um, Wednesday, I think it is. So, we still got the bandsaw running over here, cutting out the two and a half inch stuff. And I'm um, about to go see if I can rustle up something to eat and watch some videos on this. And then uh, finish cleaning up this table saw and cleaning up my mess from today. Crap I got out, drug this welder out and TIG welder and a bunch of other stuff. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.